All right, kids, we're back here for another Saturday of work. And I got, took off the lower part of the siding here so I can expose all this wonderful good stuff here. And today we'll be replacing the joist or whatever, kickboard, whatever you want to call this, edge board, whatever it is. Anyway, so we exposed a big run here and I had previously kind of marked what was okay, what wasn't so good. I did replace the last time I was here up to here. And then the wildfires came and I didn't get to come last weekend because the smoke was so bad, but this weekend I'll hopefully take care of a lot more of it. But so obviously you got the, the bottom of the, the walls replaced up to here. I'll replace all this because this is beautiful and lots of rotted stuff over there. The two by six is okay here, 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 and then it gets, who's bad? Right there. So I'll probably cut it off since this uh, hanger is here. I'll cut it off somewhere over here so it's not just on that. So we'll cut it off there. And then I spent uh, 16 bucks on a 10 foot two by six. And that was always fun. So glad I didn't buy all my lumber a couple months ago when it would have been like seven dollars but whatever uh, so yeah so we'll replace this one it's bad there questionable here so obviously not so great okay there but it's just not a long enough piece that's not rotten because well i didn't see this part because that is worse than questionable that's pretty bad and yep bad and then you know yeah, just put some duct tape on this should be good but Anyway, here we go. So you can see that window right there. It actually is not stock window, obviously. It's just a little bit bigger than what stock trailer windows are. And it was not put in there properly. Um, so, yeah, I get to take that out. And you'll see that it'll all fall apart here. And this section right here, I just wanted to do a real-time on how long it takes me to grind one of these bolts out. Speed up after that one. And yeah, I cut it off right here where I thought I was gonna save the part to the left of it but that didn't end up happening but we'll show you that here obviously in a minute so yeah I was banging out the the for surely bad one in front of it and then see I was trying to like just move the the wall and then take the the wall base off of from the top of that two by six but after messing around with that, I realized that, yeah, they glued and screwed and stapled the subfloor to it. And, yeah, I took it off and was like, all right, too much of a pain to try to clean it. So I just put this fresh 1x4 there and then ended up putting a fresh 2x6 in its place as well. And I don't know why I switched from nails to screws. Maybe it's just all I had at the time. But I don't think screws are code for studs in walls. Because I don't think the, the shear force uh, strength is as good with screws as they are with nails. But here you can see how I'm you know, putting the holes in the 2x6s uh, to bolt it to the frame. And for the few above it, or before it, previously in this one, I seated the first one and then decided to, you know, sight the next two. But I think after this one, I realized uh, putting that bolt all the way in uh, was unnecessary. And it was just kind of a pain to get it back out of the 2x6. So, hey, when you're doing this stuff for the first time, you, you learn things and... Hopefully people that are 
coming behind you that are watching this to like learn a little here and there um, they'll learn from my mistakes and uh, make it easier so hopefully I can help someone out if they have to do this not that I'm a pro or anything so you know take it with a grain of salt Yeah, I already had it drilled out, but then I just went up and had to drill through that wall stud base. So, get it all put in there. Good to go. For now, anyway. And here I'm just trying to jack up the wall a little bit to put the uh, little stringers in because the subfloor will be in there at some point. And here's some more destruction. Always fun destroying things. Yeah, and you can see this is where the uh, the bottom of that window just kind of all fell apart there. Yeah, obviously the previous owner didn't uh, take time to do anything right or maintain anything. So yeah, it's all got to go. And here I'm just kind of drilling holes and then just putting studs in there or bolts in there just to have it sit there till next time because this is about as far as I got for the day. So we got that long board sitting in there and I got you know jacked up to about there but under this window it just kind of all fell apart there um, but we'll figure it out and just thought I'd leave you with one of my neighbors that stopped by and check him out I like having them here before I plant, plant my garden because after that's in uh, in a year or so, then, uh, yeah, we'll have to get some fencing to keep these bad boys out of there. <laughs>